honestly, I, I don't look too much into you know my opponents and all that. We just do what we we can do, and we know the best me show up, and I have fun, I win. Is there a way you see yourself winning on Saturday? You go in there, go for a big finish like the last one? I don't go for it. He'll give it to me. I'll take it. Did you think, you know, saying after that, you you know, you're finally training for the first time, that that would get so much attention? It started a shitstorm, man. Golly. Everybody's invested in Ryan Spann's training now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really think that one through. I was really just excited because – I felt my results and I, I, that was the best I felt going into a fight week, into a fight. Like, so it was hard for me not to be excited. So I just kind of, yeah, you and know, dive in the mouth. <laughs> the same sort of camp for this one though. Is that the new, the new routine? No, not the same. Better. Better. We went straight to work. Matter of fact, not much of a different camp. Um, uh, other than champ camp, because we we went straight back and we going straight back next week. So. You win this one, you're literally right there. Whether it's next for a title fight or one more fight, how excited does that make you? And that the champion is another contender series alum like yourself. That would be pretty cool. All of that don't phase me. I don't, I don't really care about all that with the contender. All that is just part of my journey. Um, but to be close as I am and to actually see see something then, you know, it's a lot different than just running around in the dark, so to speak, when you're not knowing what's going on, you got no clear direction. You know, I knew I wasn't training, so I knew I knew how tough it was going to be. And it, just training makes it so much easier now, though. But Is now there? You can see, and it's a little, bit more, a little more motivation when you got like a carrot. A carrot in the stick, you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Is, is there a path? Is there a timeline? You know, how long we're literally in the beginning of 2023. So is it crazy to think by the end of 2023, the, the gold is around your waist? Absolutely not. Because it's undoubtable to me. Is, is there a prediction for this fight come Saturday? Anyway, uh, be- finish, finish. I'll take whatever, take whatever he give me. And the night quick for him. The nickname, Superman, but we know Shaq goes by that. We know Dwight Howard goes by that. Who's the real Superman? Would you, you they might be bigger than you, but I I think I would take you in a fight against both of them. I think I would too. I mean, that, that'd be a fair assessment. I mean, they, they're pretty big. Shaq, you know, Shaq got a little background. I've seen him in TNA a couple of times. He, he, not TNA, but uh, AEW a couple of times. And, you know, he got some moves on him. You know, he's still athletic. You know, he put in a couple of good matches, you know. So I mean, Shaq could probably give me a little, little, little bit of a run. You know, homie, about three something. You know, maybe four. You know, I think we've done stories in the past with Dwight, Dwight in the gym doing like jitsu or something. Like he, he's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, I pulled out on him. That's cool. Yeah, he got long limbs. You know, he he got the long skinny. So it's a little easier to deal with. He, so, so to <laughs> answer the question, you are Superman, other than Clark Kent. He, hey, you go from my daddy to me to my son. <laughs> 